Hello everybody, it's Licky Jeroof here to start off yet another Dark Souls playthrough. So if you've been following my channel, which you probably haven't, I kind of started streaming my, well, recording my uh, Dark Souls run as I was almost finished the game. I was thinking I was just kind of finishing up the DLC at that point. Uh, but now, now I've decided, uh, mixture of nostalgia and also Dark Souls 3 coming out to do another uh, to do another uh, Dark Souls playthrough uh, from start from the start this time and I want you guys uh, to be a part of it fellow youtubers so let's get started enter my name um, now I'm very boring so I'm uh, just going to call myself... Uh, what am I going to call myself? I'm going to call myself Tiberius. Is that how you spell Tiberius? Ty... Tiber... Tiberius, there you go. That is a good name. And then... Do... Sex, I'm going to go male, and then class. So, I've always kind of leaned towards playing melee classes just because I'm just I'm just a stickler for for melee classes. I really am. I, just, I absolutely love them. So I'm thinking let me think fatality dangerous. I think I might start off as the warrior. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start off as the warrior. Mainly because he's cool. He's cool. I like the warrior. We'll go with the warrior. And then gift. I'm going to go for. I think we're going to go for the master key. And then physique. Um, <laughs> I love. I love how ridiculous these can get. So we're going to go for. And we're going to go for slim. Face. Delta farmer. <laughs> Dragon scholar. Uh, ooh. I like Dragon Scholar. Dragon Scholar sounds pretty cool. And then, let me think. What looks cool? Ponytail could be pretty awesome. Um, I think I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with Ponytail. And then, color Light Brown. Oh wow, actually I don't think I've ever done this before actually. I didn't realize you could actually alter the face. That is pretty cool actually. Let's see it doesn't do much. Hmm. Don't really notice it doing much. Oh no, it's doing a little bit. Interesting. Huh. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I never really look too much at my character. So, let's confirm. Let's do it! Woo! Yes, indeed. The dark sign brand So, the I'm going to be taking a bit of a kind of a similar vein to. Uh, another guy I watched did a Dark Souls playthrough, uh, the Angry GM, uh, who I really recommend watching. Actually, he's very good. But I'm um, kind of yeah, talking about talking about the game. Uh, not so much, not so much a critical, a critical kind of talk about the game because uh, I'm really not that critical. But um, more so, kind of just talking about some of the things I noticed, some of the things that he noticed that I was never able to put into words. Kind of. Talking about some of the points he made, and also some of my own points about why I like the game so much. So yeah, start off. So sad. One of the things I really like at the start actually is how it it doesn't tell you. It just it really doesn't tell you like very much at all. Like literally, you you just you're here. Uh, there's no introduction. You're pretty much like you're you're here in the cell. You see this guy, and it's pr pretty much go from there. 
Um, I really, really like that kind of introduction. Um, I I tend to go for a similar kind of vein um, uh, in my kind of in my in my DMing style. As in, like, I'm not a huge fan of letting the uh, of letting the, the players kind of go out for ages about wonder kind of why they're here and what they're doing. It's more so you're you're here in X, why has happened, off you guys go, and you can work out the details. Uh, definitely be would be my pref preferred way of doing things. So, uh, hopefully now my Dark Soulsing isn't too rusty. So, climb up here, run, run, run. First bonfire cover XP. Yes, first bonfire. And I really, really enjoy the bonfire aspect to, the, to, to this game. I think it's, it's such a good idea. It really is. Uh. Now... Oof. As well, actually, a point I only ever kind of copped onto as I was watching the, the Angry Jam was that so you come in here, um, and the only other way out is lit by torches. So like it's made obvious. So you can see the opening as well. So when we're attacked by the asylum demon, well, we know that we can. It's like it's, it's obvious. It's more so. It's more obvious uh, where we need to go instead of it, instead of say you know Dark Souls is kind of like dumping you in there and not providing say any clues or anything and it's letting you die over and over again. That would be unfair. But the fact that it, it kind of it highlights, say, through the torches, the fact that, oh yeah, you need to go through here or this is hey, this is a way you can go. Because it's so close to the bonfire, I think it's it's a really good way of introducing the player Ah no. Introducing the player um, to uh, the fact that the the game isn't gonna hold your hand and show you where to go and what to do. It's more you know, we're gonna we're gonna be in this hard hands it's hard situations, but we're gonna show you we're gonna show you how to deal with them and that uh, oh wow I actually do so little damage. <laughs> I was hoping to kill him before he ran away but I guess not. Uh, the trusty long sword. So I think definitely in these early parts, where some people might think, oh, you know, Dark Souls, it's very, very difficult, you know, it's punishing, it's not fair. Uh, I think, in reality, it is actually quite fair in what it does, but it's just far more subtle than what a lot of people are used to. Uh, let's see, is there anything around here? I do not remember. No, there's not. It's quite subtle, and if you look out for things and you try to uh, and you kind of try to figure out what the game is trying to tell you, then all of the well, most of the apparent like haha, screw you kind of moments um, are actually oh well, there was kind of some forewarning about this earlier, and you know we 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 kind of we told you what well we didn't tell you what was going to happen we, we gave you the tools to deal with what was happening and you just ignored them and it's your fault that you died. I'm about to talk to this guy. So I love his shield and his armor as well. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we both are dead. Hear me out, will you? Of course we'll do that. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Hmm. Oh, and this. Ooh. 
Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Super. So, while very cryptic, you know, if you listen carefully, and it's always easy to say this with hindsight, but like listening carefully, you know, it's like, oh, uh, go from the undead asylum, the undead prison, you know, we wake up in a prison, head over to wherever it was called, Bell of Awakening, you know, so it's, it's kind of giving us little bits, you know, so we know we need to, we need to try to leave this place, and here we're given a stunning view, firstly, and also you can kind of see, well, oh, hold up, this is like, this is outside, this is away. So we're clearly going the right path to leave the Undead Asylum. And so I just realized <laughs> I've been I've been heavy attacking um, since I started instead of normal attacking. It's weird because I I didn't think I was like the animation seemed to run a little wrong to me. I didn't think it was the right animation, and indeed it was not. <laughs> Luckily, I discovered that sooner rather than later. You might as well notice I'm I'm not a mad one for parrying. I I just and I can never really get the hang of it. And to be honest, I almost prefer not using it. Yeah, repelling enemy attack after parrying repost. I'm just yeah, I'm not I'm not mad for it. I prefer to just block and move around and try try backstab. And even then, I'm not too mad about that either. You know, it's unfair. Anyway, I traverse the white light. Here we have back here in the asylum demon. And it's given us the tools again. It's told us about the plunging attack. Ah, wow. I That's never happened before. <laughs> so I was doing stupid things for so long. That he... Oh. Well, he just... He, he knocked my shit up. That's what he did. So I'm at a pretty bad disadvantage already because the plunging attack, of course probably know would have taken off with half his health. But hey ho, you know. Right, I just want to draw him way back into the center because I like to be able to circle around him and I can't circle around him. If he's smushed up against the wall. Ugh. The thing though I do like about these boss fights is they're always very epic. You know, it's like, oh, he hits me, I like fall away backwards, it was like, the ground like shakes, it's all, it's all very epic. Uh, it's one of the things actually I would like to try and incorporate into a DD and d game, you know, so it's like, oh, an enemy hits you so hard that you fall backwards, but uh, it, isn't, it isn't really kind of made for that sort of thing, if, uh, if any of you know kind of the D&D 5th Ed, it would just be, it'd be a little bit OP. But it's a really, really cool idea, and I hope to make use of it at some point, maybe in a boss fight or something, I don't know. So in any case, I'm able to kind of stick around the back of this guy and just kind of whack around his ass. And it goes down pretty easily. Nothing too mad. Uh, big Pilgrim's Key. Sweet. And some humanity. I think I'm going to rest at a bonfire now. And I'm going to stop the video here, because it's the first video, and I just want to make sure that everything's okay sound-wise and such. Um, if you guys think yeah, the sound is a little bit off, or you know, you've got some other comments, please let me know. Um, I hope to be doing this on and off. I'm not sure when I will be able to like kind of do a lot of these. It might be very like, uh, you get maybe one or two, three videos, and then uh, wait, like say, like two months before the next video, but I hope to kind of go through it at a steady pace. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next video.